We're helping wrangle up some good eating. Yeah, not just for rodeo, but for this kind mm -hmm. of weather like I was talking about. Registered dietitian Shailene McNeil with Beef Loving Texans, our dear friend. We haven't seen you in way too uh -oh, long. Oh, it's so great to be back. Okay. Always delicious, always affordable too. And once again, we're making chili, right? We are making chili and we're starting off with one of my favorite cuts. It's a versatile cut. We're gonna use sirloin and we're gonna make our own DIY chili meat. Now, if you're in a rush, you wanna pick up chili meat already cut up for you, you can. But Fiona, you're just gonna take that sirloin, that center cut sirloin and make little diced bites about the bite size that you like. I always have sirloin in my freezer because it's so versatile. So. And you said beef is, because you know grocery prices with detergent, eggs and everything else going through the roof, but this is staying you know, pretty stable. Beef prices have gone up like all food, but holding their own in terms of value. And you're talking about high quality protein, great nutrition, easy food that people love to eat. So it's a great value, I think, too. Okay. What you've got going there, Mike, what we're going to do is Fiona's making that chili meat, but you've already started us with browning that chili meat crank it up let's get some yeah. heat on that and we're gonna have a nice browned beef one of the tricks here is batch cooking your chili meat don't put all of those two pounds of chili meat in one setting so cook about half a pound and then another half a pound batch and, cook and when it. you cook it then take it out put more in there yes. and that way the heat stays up because right. if you put all that meat in there at the same time it's gonna steam it instead of browning it so mm -hmm. then you're gonna add in some cooked onions that I've already got ready for you now the thing about Texas red chili is there's no tomato sauce, so what makes it red? These chili peppers. So what I love talking about, we've got these guajillo peppers and these little arbol peppers, chili de arbol. Guajillo peppers are nice and smoky and fruity, and then the arbols are hot and spicy, so you can always cut back on them. You want to soak them. We're going to get those nice and soaked for about 45 minutes. When they come out, take off the stems, peel out the seeds, and put it in your puree and you're gonna have this gorgeous Ooh. red chili Ooh. paste. So what you've already added your ingredients, tell us you've put in some cumin, some paprika, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then you're gonna add and coat and, that chili paste in there. And you said you like to do this before you add the liquid so it really gets into the, the it beef It coats the meat, and okay. if you do that, you'll stir it around really good, you're gonna see all that coated, and then you're gonna add your beef broth and your favorite Texas beer, and go low and slow. slow. You're gonna put that heavy lid on, let it simmer, start smelling up the house, getting that appetite built, and Ooh. then and when that simmers for a couple of hours and gets really tender, mm -hmm. then you're gonna add a nice kick at the very end. So go ahead and add that beer in. After that simmers, you're gonna add masa harina. You're gonna put in a little bit of masa flour instead of say cornmeal that to thickens thicken it, it up, up, it's almost like you got a little tamale in your chili <laughs> and it's just delicious. Okay, now the, the question being, if you were to use flour or something like that, you'd have to mix it with oil and cook mm -hmm. out the flour flavor. Do you have to do that yeah, with this? Yeah, if you do flour, sometimes you'll mix it with, a, uh, with some broth yeah. or something. No, you're just gonna put that straight, straight on okay. and stir it all up and that's going to just come together and make a really hearty flavor. I love doing chili on the weekends and then using it left over throughout the week or freezing it. It's super hearty and delicious. Um, and then you said some of the, the ways that you will do it is... Uh, well, one way that we do it is we take out some leftover chili and put it on eggs in the morning. That's delicious. Oh, Top wow. it off with a baked potato or sweet potato throughout the week. I'll just heat up a little dish of it for lunch for a quick day, put some Fritos with it. So it freezes really well. Mm. super protein rich really mm. lean I forgot to talk about the fact that sirloin is also lean so you're just getting these natural whole ingredients hearty and delicious the the mm -hmm. depth of those flavors in there and with I was the thinking, sour cream yeah mm. and I was thinking with the peppers that it was gonna be like mm -hmm. hot no, no 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 that's just I mean yeah. rich and good natural mm. good flavors no tomatoes but the chilies make up for that pasty flavor that's just delicious do it with mm -hmm. Fritos I mean a good hunky crusty bread with that oh crusty bread would be awesome you could do it with tortillas yeah, you could do it with so cornbread so delicious I mm -hmm. love the idea about putting this over eggs too and I know we've mentioned it but beef still affordable, right? Absolutely. This is about $8 a mm -hmm. pound. Now, if you put it with all these other ingredients, mm -hmm. I think we can get this meal for around $15, and it'll serve four to six. So you're getting a real good value. Definitely less expensive mm -hmm. than maybe running through that fast food line and so much more nutritious right. as well. And, and like you said, too, is there, you know everything that's in there. It's just Yes, clean, it's just good easy, food. good ingredients that are just good and good for you. Remember, Beef Loving Texans is your go-to resource. You can find those affordable cuts, those value cuts, and get all those great tips for cooking beef. And mm -hmm. five million recipes, I think, that you have done? Oh, something probably like that. something like that. <laughs> and something different all the time, but it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, so Shailene McNeil, yeah, thank, you. thank you so much for more on Beef Loving Texans. Just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.
Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.